So in this video, I will show you how you can properly rig your character for Unreal Engine 5. Uh, you can use any character. So right now I'm using this one. You can get this thing from, I think, CG Trader for free. So basically, I have to rig this character. I have to export this thing to Unreal Engine 5 so that I can use it for my game or for my renders, anything. For this thing, I'm using Aquarig. So if you don't know about Aquarig, it's a software where you can rig your character. Why I'm using this one instead of using Mixamo. So the number one reason of using this thing is you can rig your hands finger. So basically, before doing anything, you have to make sure that you um, properly merge your character. You can see that we have separate parts for separate things and you have to join everything. But before joining anything, you have to make sure that there is no overlapping. So with this model, uh, in the sides, we have a pocket and if i show you the pocket then you can see there this is the pocket and it was uh it was stale like this and when you do the merging like if you select everything and press ctrl j the problem you will face with this one is when you rig your character it will have very weird stretching in his underarms so that was the main issue with this one so to avoid that thing i have to separate this model and you have to make sure that nothing is merging uh, still we have some kind of merging there like you can see collapsing but i think we are good to go with this one uh, you can just move this thing like that and yeah hopefully it will work so let's try to join this so you have to just select everything Control g so it will join everything so after this you have to just go to file uh, export fbx and make sure that you make it copy enable this button then you have to go to the visible object selected object mesh and then you can turn off this thing and you can leave everything like this and you can export you have to go to your aqua rig and then we have to just drag drop our model if your character is rotated like this you can just click on this rotate y axis and then make sure that this line is at the center of the character then just press rig Okay, so after this, you will see that we have some kind of um, points. You have to just match this thing like that. And you can also enable symmetry. And you can also see uh, the points guide there. You have to just match those things. Okay, I think everything is looking good. I'll just press on rig hands. Now in this one, you can see we have finger count five. So if you have any kind of alien type character, you can also customize this. But for now, we will set this thing to five and then next. Okay, so after this, you can see that we have some kind of fingers points there. You have to just make sure that those things are properly aligned and you can leave everything like this. And then just click on that button. Then we have to rig this one. Uh, you have to just select like this. And then you are good to go. Then just click on finalize character. And it will do everything for you. Okay, right now you can see. We have a proper rigged character. With fingers also. And yeah, this looks very good. So in the right corner you will see some animations. I think this is not that bad but yeah you have to just make sure that, that the mesh is not merging or else it will create this type of issue and you will see that my hands is kind of thank you right now so you can just easily go back to your body rig again and then you can move this thing just to get a proper thing and then you can just go and check animation again okay so right now I think the hands are looking good okay so you can just go to the body one and then you can just test some animations also i think this one is looking good you can see this pose also and we have this type of things uh, we have some hand animations also so you can see that we are having proper hands um you have to just give some more time or you have to just do some cleanup and make sure that you properly give the points to your hands and it will not gonna create this type of weird uh, effect and I think everything looks good. So after this, you can just directly export this to FDX. And you have to make sure that you press Unreal. And then you can press Original and then Export. But with this method, you will get a problem with the textures. That the texture will look different 
and that was the main issue with this method so you don't have to export it from there you can try if if your texture is working properly then you can leave this thing like that if it is not working then you have to do this so instead of exporting from this area you have to go to upload to actor core and it will upload your character to your actor core so if you go to the website of um, Reillusion Aquatic you will see this type of uh, plugin for Unreal Engine you have to just download this plugin and then you have to install this okay so when you export your model from from your website not from the app from the website uh, I can't show you that process because I have that limited thing you can see the um, error that I exceed my limit so I can't show you but it's very simple if you just click on the link it will uh, redirect you to a website and you will see that your character is uploaded there at the corner you will get export button you have to just click on export export fbx and make sure that you choose unreal engine and then you have to just click on export after that export you will um you will get a zip file you have to extract that and then you have to just drag drop your model in unreal and you will get this type of pop-up something like this you have to just click on hq shaders and then apply and it will um, import everything to your unreal and you will see something like this so we have all the skeletal mesh animation sequence physics assets and everything so i will just drag drop this and you will see there that we have a proper thing with proper textures and everything okay so yeah that's it for this tutorial i think this will help you thank you for watching